Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 8, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are down just a bit. We are down roughly 0.12% at this current stage, but we're also approaching the all-time highs here. And if we manage to take out the all-time high, it's very likely that we'll go towards the 4,200. There's quite a lot of support right underneath here uh, at the 20 exponential, the 50 moving average right here at 4,150. And of course, also down here at 4,000, which should probably be uh, the very floor of this market. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very flat, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is down roughly 50, uh, half a percent, uh, not 50 percent, half a percent, trading at 30, uh, 34,619. Technical indicators are, well, are, are fairly flat at this current stage. We have basically almost gone sideways, just a um, little bit of upward momentum, but uh, technically we've just been in the same area for, for the, last, uh, the last week and a half. If you look at MACD, it's basically flat, the stochastic is also flat, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So if we manage to take out these all-time highs here, then we're probably going towards uh, 36,000, uh, roughly that, in the next uh, few weeks. The breakdown from here, uh, 20 exponential should offer support, so does the 50 exponential at 30, uh, uh, 34,000. And to drop below that, then we have the very low here of 33,400, 500, give or take. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has really rallied at the end of the uh, US session. We can see that technical indicators here are all turning around and are looking very bullish at this point. Uh, if you compare it to the other uh, indices, then probably the Nasdaq has the most to gain in the next uh, uh, next uh, next few weeks. If you we manage to take out these previous highs here, which is roughly at 13,000, uh, 13, sorry, and then we are most likely going to 15 and probably also 16 in the next few months. Breakdowns from here will most likely be bought into if we get to the war towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is at roughly 13,000. Break below there, we have the 200 moving average. And of course, if this breaks, then we are probably going to see this completely fall apart. But still, we are in an uptrend. We have been going sideways for the last, uh, last basically week and a half. Balance from the middle of the Bollinger Band offered quite a lot of support here and is encouraging. And this is a very encouraging candlestick indeed. And otherwise, technical indicators moments show that the momentum is definitely to the upside. We'll mostly run into some uh, resistant round here, roughly 14,000, is also the previous highs here. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX is continuing its grind to the upside, reached basically the all-time highs today at roughly 15,727. And yes, there is still room to the upside. RSI is still at 60, uh, 64. And we'll mostly go into target 16,000 in the next few, um, few weeks. Uh, breakdown from here towards the 20 exponential will mostly be um, bought into a roughly 15,500. And then we also have the 50 moving average down here at 15,300. And that probably will be will most likely be the floor as we can see that we have bounced significantly every time we have tested the 50 moving average. 16,000 will most likely be the target. Technical indicators are very bullish at this current stage. So UK FTSE. So UK FTSE is uh, just going back and forward. We have reached uh, nearly the top of the bullish band and then gave all of those gains back and then rallied again. So we went down towards the 20 exponential, which offered quite a lot of support and also roughly uh, 7,115 offered also quite a lot of resistance. So if we manage to break above these candlesticks here, then we are most likely going to go to the very highs. If we look at how far we have come since basically this fall, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, 
catching up to compared to the U.S. indices and the, and the German DAX and so on. The, this has been probably the least uh, or worst performing uh, indices of, of, of all of them. Um, if you don't count the uh, recent months of the China 50. But at this current stage, uh, technically, we can see that MACD is still flat, the Kastig is bearish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So they're not very helpful here, but we are still, um, momentum is still to the upside. We're still in the uptrend, and uh, pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50 have been bought into recently. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 is um, hanging on here at the 20, just above the 20 exponential. We had a massive rally up towards, give or take, 18,400. And since then, we have basically been pulling back towards support. And now we are basically bounced off the 20 exponential. Technical indicators, they are still uh, fairly bearish and uh, momentum is to the downside. So we could hang around here and that is actually... A, a very good thing that's basically stable last year showing that this is support and then we could probably go and test 19,000 in the next few weeks so hope you find this helpful you want to support channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much